Greetings. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome back to more facts from the Bible. Did you know that Adam was the first physical man to prophesy? He was our first prophet. Let's visit the word and see how. Genesis chapter 2 verse 20 and it says, and Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an helpmeet for him. Adam named all of the cattle, and all of the beasts, and all of the fowl. And we still refer to these animals by the same names. Hmm. Our next prophecy, Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Let's take a look. And it says, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Hmm. Now, this was right after God had given Adam Eve, and they had not bare children, nor did Adam have physical parents here on earth. His parents, his mother and father, were both God. So how did he know these things were to come? And this was confirmed by Jesus Christ himself, the second Adam, in Matthew chapter 19, verse 5. Go take a look when you got some time. And the last way he prophesied that we will be discussing today is found in Genesis chapter 3, verse 20. Let's take a look. And it says, And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Hmm. Now Adam and Eve had not bared children as of yet. You see, that takes place in chapter 4. That says that Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. This was after Adam and Eve were removed from the garden and they bear children. But the prophecy was in chapter 3, verse 20. The bearing of children was chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Just food for thought. Be blessed.